was being called a potential game changer in fighting certain types of cancer using sound waves. Doctors say the plan is to use the treatment on several different organs with cancer. Circle of Health reporter Denise Sador has the details and reaction from a very grateful patient. Take a breath in and then just hold it. Ultrasound offers a clear look at the cancerous tumors in Chris Donaldson's liver, but in less than 24 hours. Dr. Kevin Burns and his team will use sound waves in a very different way. It's innovative. I think it should be used widespread for other types of cancers. The 48-year-old is here from Alabama because Providence Mission Hospital leads the nation in treating patients with a new FDA-approved modality called histotripsy. Histotripsy is a technology that uses ultrasound waves that go to a very small focal point. It's about the size of a grain of rice, and it just ruptures all the cells and kills them instantly. It took 20 years to develop, and it arrived just just in time for Chris. He was running out of options and hope. I was basically told I had three years and when it metastasizes to your liver it somewhat starts a clock of two years. In 2022, Chris was diagnosed with ocular melanoma. Radioactive seeds behind his eyes destroyed the cancer there, but because it traveled to his liver, doctors weren't sure how well conventional treatments would work. Then, Chris heard of histotripsy. You are asleep for this procedure uh, just to prevent any sort of pain or discomfort, but there's no incisions or anything like that. In the air, sound dissipates. It needs a medium, and in this case, doctors use degassed water. So there's actually this water bath that sits on top of you. Unlike radiation, this sound wave therapy doesn't affect any other tissue. It can be repeated as needed. After each treatment, the organ bounces back. And so when the liver cells grow, they kind of grow back. Early studies show liquefying the tumors leaves behind benign genetic material that may improve the body's defenses against cancer. The plan is for this device and technology to continue on to other organs or other modalities. Two months after treatment, Chris's liver remains cancer-free. Truly saved my life. Truly give me a chance to meet my grandchildren. If I could inspire anyone to just not give up and have that, that glimmer of hope. In Mission Viejo, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.